At the heart of what we do is human stories. Someone is sick, their kid is sick, and the work that we do, which involves all sorts of complex science, technology, clinical work, is really ultimately about making those human stories have a happy ending as often as, uh, as, is, as is humanly possible. I wanted to work for Genomics England because I read an article in the paper and I just thought it was an amazing mission, bettering patients' lives. I mean, why would you not want to join an organisation that does that? This is something that can really revolutionise every healthcare interaction we have. Intellectually, I find it challenging. I think that's the bit that keeps me personally motivated. If you do come to an environment where you're challenged constantly, you do improve yourself. Once I was told about the mission, I just knew that uh, I had to join them. At Genomics England, our mission is to bring the benefits of genomic medicine to everyone. We have a unique partnership with the NHS where we can bring this cutting edge science really into the mainstream of healthcare. And we work with a whole ecosystem of researchers to make sure that those insights are being translated into real benefits for both patients and research participants. NHS doctors and clinicians see patients, identify who might need a whole genome test. Their laboratories in the NHS extract DNA from samples from patients that's ready for genome sequencing. Our systems sit in the middle and they turn that complexity of the genome into a handful of genomic variants. NHS scientists can turn that into a very simple report that can be acted on in the clinic. This is the point where you can you know, implement an algorithm and have that change people's treatments across the whole of the NHS. The interesting thing about software engineering with this volume of data is that it brings challenges that are quite rare in, in the industry. So the volume of data that we manage is ginormous. It's large, it's like over 20 petabytes of information. There's a lot of software engineering that goes into automating and managing the flow of information. You're helping people and patients and you're dealing with like cutting edge science. I just thought that was super cool. That's how you know that it's a good thing, that, that feeling in your stomach of this is a challenge, but a, a good challenge. Learning here is goes beyond what's my skill set and how do I grow that. You're learning how to embed your skill set in this kind of organisation. You're learning how to merge your skill set with other people. You're learning how to lead. Genomics England is incredibly helpful when it comes to empowering their employees to continue to learn and develop and grow within the organisation. There's also just a vast amount of knowledge that's within the organisation itself that you can tap into. Yes, the work is extremely challenging, but with the team that we have here, you know, everything is possible. Working at Genomics England makes me feel lucky. I feel lucky to be working in such an exciting field at such an exciting time with such a great group of people. It was allowing me to do really interesting projects. Just from a learning point of view, it was kind of opening my eyes to new routes, what we could do with that, more data to explore, to interrogate because we have a very unique data set and I think that very geekly is what excites me. The team that we've built, just unbelievably amazing brains, mindsets, skills, personalities. Why would you not want to come join this group of people? I made the best decision of my life to, to join here. And you know, I love every moment of it. What we're doing is just, you know, bigger than just us. It's something that could be like a global, uh, like a big deal really. <laughs> There's no point in doing something unless you're going to change the world. So this is, this is about changing the world. There is literally no other organisation like this anywhere in the world, I don't think. It's uh, changing the face of healthcare for the future. What more would you want from a role?